So I thought I'd give a little bit of an overview of my uh, Gabriel Hijacker Air Shocks. We're underneath the Jeep Cherokee. Here's the uh, driver's side shock. And I, uh, I've ran all the air hoses through some conduit all the way down. And then they meet up here at the uh, little T, which is where I put the air, a little nipple. So I put them in the conduit so they'd be nice and safe. Little tubes are fragile, I, I suppose, so I don't want them rubbing up on anything to get air leaks. But uh, yeah, so I installed them real clean, pretty easy to install. They're just uh, three bolts per shock, actually two bolts and one nut for the Jeep Cherokee. So let me show you the Jeep right now is squatting because I have a uh, audio system in here. Check it out on my channel. I've been doing a little work on it and stuff, but as you can tell, the wheel, so the tire's up in the wheel well, and the front it's not. So I got a uh, quite a big setup going on in the back of the Jeep, and it's not uh, really strong enough to take the load. So that's why I got these air shocks, because they can handle about 1,100 pounds, no problem. So uh, I'm going to show you the difference as I put air into it. I'm going to go ahead and put some air in it now so you can see the difference of uh, almost bottomed out and then uh, when, they, uh, when they're up to where I like them. It's pretty much up all the way, maybe a little bit more, but as you can tell, it raises up the entire car pretty uh, pretty well. I don't know if you could see it too much on the camera, but at first it really uh, really climbs. But you can tell I got three inches, four inches clearance right there between between the uh, tire and the part you can see on the outside. So yeah, those are my Gabriel hijackers, really are cool, and uh, it, it provides kind of a stiffer ride, so it actually corners a little bit better and all that. Um, so the kit was about $80 on eBay or Amazon, wherever you go. I got the Gabriel hijacker um, air shock kit for the Jeep Cherokee. Uh, install time was about one to two hours, depending on, you know, if you really know what you're doing or not. It's simple. You just have the nipple right there. Sorry, the air compressor came on. You get the nipple, and then you got two hoses that tee from there, go to each shock on each side, and you just hook up all the lines. Uh, the nipple's a little bit cheesy, too, so... I would recommend going online and trying to find like a little kit for that. You can get the you can get the nicer nipples, like the brass ones. It's just a plastic, and it tees. You can get to where you can air up each shock separately. But I haven't had any issues with the teed. Uh, the air doesn't rock side to side when you corner it. It stays even. But uh, yeah, really huge improvement. Great for towing things. I recommend looking at the Gabriel hijackers if you got a squatting issue and you don't really want to look at uh, doing anything expensive or getting a lift.
you just want to get it back up to stock height or better. So there you go.